My parents try so hard to find a brighter day for our generation. Without shoes, they run, worry, and scare. They look around while you eat a rice. They didn't need salt because we was salty enough. Always in danger and darkness. You don't want to be that long when you don't have a hope or know what will happen tomorrow. Constantly hearing a gunshot and seeing blood all over the place. Like you are in a world where there is always daughter and Lani. And a beautiful sky consistently turned to dark. It always feel like you have dyed red hair because you continually saw blood around. Most people were killed, raped, and enslaved, and most babies were killed before their first birthday. My dad helped others as much as he could, and tried to make others feel blessed. My parents carried my big sister and big brother and all the pain and hardship on their backs. They didn't give up because they wanted their children to have a brighter day. However, in 1999, they found their way to a place called Mekaki. It was not a big place, but there was a lot of Korean people was there. Most of our Korean people was left behind in blackness, but I really felt blessed. My family made it. I was born in Mekaki. Then my sister BBC and my brother Donny too was born. But fire kept coming and the river kept rising and flooding their houses like hurricane destroyed everything we built. Five years later, all the Korean people were moving to a different refugee camp. The road to our camp was bumpy and I thought I would never see my grandma again. When the wind stopped, we were in Melau Tale. My heart was beating happy and scary at the same time. There was nothing there, it just forest and no houses. We have to scavenge for snake and vegetable while my dad and his friends cut a bamboo to build a house. They work as a team. Everyone worked like ants. More and more Korean people came and we built a house, a school, a hospital and a church. This became our home left for seven years. We have a garden and an animal. Later on, my parents heard the news about American welcoming refugees to their country. My parents applied to come to America because they wanted us to get educated and be successful. Then our new journey began.